going on, Steph? Back with another video. I'm just gonna drive to Starbucks and uh, also, too, I gotta stop to the store and get me some soap and stuff. But, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of this stuff going around. Thinking about, oh, you women go. Women going to Miami for the summer and and whatnot, and I'm like, oh no, I'm sorry. He said I'm going to my girl going to Miami for a summer. She do anything? She gonna be stupid? He's I don't even trust the jazz it is. And, and you you got a bunch of dudes in the comments saying, yeah, bro, shoot, these these chicks having a city girl summer and stuff and things like that. And and I just say, shoot, if you guys have issues with this woman, instead of crying and complaining about it, shoot, I, I tell dudes all the time, <laughs> shoot, you don't trust a lever. Shoot, if you have that gut feeling that, you know, she gonna do whatever she wanna do, you know, don't complain about it. Just leave the girl, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, too, I tell guys like this all the time, man. If you have that issue with a woman stepping out on you, or you just have these trust issues, man. No, I, I always say it like this, it's a good thing to have that. But also, too, I say it like this, you gotta grow up. Because if, if you keep having trust issues with every single girl and you leave them all the time, bro, it's a bad reflection on you. You know, because I, I'd say like this, your chick going to do whatever, uh, a woman going to do whatever she want to do. But you don't have to have that in your life. <clears throat> and one dude in the comment section say, oh, so you, and he, he took it completely out of context. He, he made no sense. He's like, oh, so you trust your girl to go out anywhere? Or, or, you know, go to a club and anything like that? I said, no, because you know why? <laughs> I ain't got to deal with it. <laughs> ain't my chick. <laughs> Shoot. Because I say it like this, you know, women are spiteful. If you're going to do something to you and, and you have that feeling, don't be with the woman. Like I tell guys all the time, she want to go to Miami for the summer. Hey, man, shoot. <laughs> you can go and stay as long as you want. No, I'm just going to take the next thing. I tell, I tell women all the time, you can go and stay as long as you want. I, I won't see you ever again. And another thing, too. And uh, shout out to FedEx for this one, man. Cause I'm a firm believer in this. Cause he said, uh, with a breakup, all you have to do is just walk away. And you got some guys in the comments saying, "Oh, don't listen to this guy. He's setting you up for failure." And then you got a couple of uh, dudes on there saying, oh, "But what? What if like it's meant to be, and you you think it's right, and you should take her back?" Or even women, you know, the, the women saying in there. Saying it's okay just to walk out on a female, yeah, if she's disrespectful. <laughs> but what I tell guys, man, you know, during that breakup, don't get sad over it, you know, don't be. Uh, what do I say? Don't be sad over it. Don't go laying around drinking and smoking or go to the club with your bros or even some dudes. Like, cause uh, shout out to one of my homies, man. We were talking about it, about this one dude. You know, he's he's very well off. Um, you know, he has his own business. You know, he runs apartment complex and whatnot, which is making really good money, by the way. Uh, making really good money, but he had this long-term girlfriend, and then I guess he had a hard time dealing with. It. He started cutting his hair. You know, he was starting to. You know, go out and, and, you know, trying to mess with chicks that he, you know, he wouldn't really even mess with. 
And the number one thing I always tell guys this, man, it takes time. You know, let's just go back to, you know, chicks want to go to Miami and have fun and all this other stuff, man. Shoot, she want to go do that, man. You don't just go back and hurt the girl and all that, man. Just take take some time to yourself. Well, focus, but, you know, focus on yourself, too. Yeah, I'm going to go do a drive. I don't feel like getting out. You know, take some time, man. You know, get your mind right. Because a lot of these chicks, man, will, will destroy your ambition if you allow them. But that doesn't mean, you know, you you allow that to happen yourself. Because, like, once you stop doing something that, you know, you're destined to do or something great to do because of some woman, man, you just waste time. You lose a lot of time. Like, even what I'm doing, like, I'm studying for this damn test. Mm. And it's like really taking a lot of my time with uh, videos and stuff. And I got like, I think nine videos in here, but I got to keep something going because reading this book over and over and answering these questions is not it, coach. But uh, the thing is, I tell dudes, man, don't let no woman mess you up, man. You know, take some time, focus on yourself. And, and I said in the comments, I said in the comments, man, you know, walk out on her and, and don't ever go back to her. And someone commented on there. Oh, but what if she like some dude reply to my stuff? Oh, what if she uh wants to work things out? Nah, I, I still say no. <laughs> because shout out to TK Kirkland, there's like four pretty billion females in the world. You let one messing you up? Psh, hell no. You know, even if your dating life even sucks, because even FedEx Fearless, he even asked me, yo, bro, how's your dating life? And I, I'm a, I'm gonna get into that one if he replies back, but you know, I, I say it like this. Go out here getting the best body of your life get the most money keep learning keep willing to do everything that you want to do man and you know shoot. you take your focus off women man life is great you at peace you at peace man when you you as an individual can have clarity in your life a lot of men don't understand that, man. I don't, a lot of you guys letting this woman take away your clarity. Like, guys be complaining about these these uh, chicks want to have these city girls summers, man. Hey, like I always say, let them have it. Let them think the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> the grass is greener on the other side with you, man, when you at peace. Or I say it like this, when... To all you guys out there who want to have long-term relationships, man. Now, when that woman like likes you and digs you and just loves being around you and she just appreciates you and vice versa, man, the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> Shoot, life is wonderful on the other side. Think about it like this, right? You were working at this job for five years, eight years. Treat you like dirt, you know, X, Y, and Z. And hold on one second. Hi, what can I get for you? Uh, yes, can I have a caramel macchiato, uh, venti, upside down, and five pumps of vanilla. Okay. Anything else? That'd be it. I'm sorry? That would be all. Okay, cool. We'll see you on the corner. All right, thank you. Yeah, and uh, like I was saying, you was working at this job treating you like garbage, like dirt and whatnot. And... And... 
and uh, you just get sick and tired of it, and then you leave, and then after like a week or so, your life gets a lot better, man, because you are not in that stressful situation. That's how like a lot of these dirtbag jobs are. They dirtbag jobs and windmill are the same thing. Keep putting up and putting up with it. Eventually, you gotta leave, and then when you leave, you get clarity. Clarity is everything. When you make that step, man, you know, life gets way better. Especially, too, you're not going back to it. Think about it, guys.